This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in on how can I sculpt on thin pieces of geometry, but not have the back area of that geometry be distorted or affected. So here I just have a simple plane object loaded in with a little bit of thickness. And by default, if I have the clay buildup brush selected and I come through and start sculpting on this mesh like so, you're going to notice it's going to distort the front of the model. But then if I rotate around, it's also going to affect the back. Now, this is relative to the thickness of your mesh. So if you actually sculpt it on a thicker model, this wouldn't be a problem. But when you're working on very thin objects like this here, it's going to affect that back side of your mesh as well. Now you may not want this to happen because if you get close to like edges and things like this, you're going to get very thin areas of geometry. And if you redynamesh this model, it may create this Swiss cheese effect. So how can I go by just sculpting on the front surface, but not have it affect the back? So to do this, we just need to navigate over here to our brush menu. And underneath the brush menu here, we're going to find the auto masking tab. Now, if we open up auto masking, you'll notice there's a button here called back face mask. So if I turn this on and now go back to my model and sculpt on it again like so with that clay buildup brush. And if I rotate around now, you're going to notice that it's not going to affect any faces that are not facing the camera. So as you can see here, the surface normals on this mesh right here are facing the camera, so I'm affecting that surface. But if I rotate around to the back of the model now, you can see I'm not getting that visual distortion as I was getting earlier. You will have to activate the setting on any brush you use. So right now I have it turned on for clay buildup, but if I select the standard brush and sculpt on my model, you're going to notice that that standard brush is still affecting those back faces. So I need to navigate to the brush menu again and turn on back face mask for standard brush now. And if I come through and sculpt on that, you can see now it's not affecting the back faces on those models. So that will allow you to come through and sculpt on thin areas of geometry such as cloth or anything else on your model that has very small surfaces. So I hope that helps. And if you have any additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!